I recently purchased this Hewlett Packard 8656A signal generator. This is not just any signal generator. This will do frequencies ranging from 100 kilohertz all the way up to 990 megahertz. And as you can probably tell by looking at the front, this can do a whole lot more than just that. A ventilator fan turns on as soon as you plug it in. On the front, we have this button right here, standby, reset, and on. Reset is only a push button that you can push if you want to reset everything. If you turn it on, after a reset, it's going to light up quite beautifully. Operating this device is pretty straightforward. Of course, there are some advanced features that do require some experimenting or reading the instruction manual. The basic stuff is easy. You can select frequency. You get some up and down buttons. Or you can also directly enter a frequency. For example, this or let's do 10 megahertz get the numbers here and then the units over there megahertz kilohertz volts millivolts microvolts of course if you have frequency selected you cannot do 10 volts that's not going to work because it's not a frequency obviously the same thing goes for the amplitude select the amplitude you can uh, either use the up and down arrow keys or you can directly enter a number along with a matching unit. Uh, interesting uh, thing is the attenuator that they have used inside the device. As you can hear, those are not relays, I don't think. Sounds more like a solenoid or something. So that's quite interesting. You can directly enter something as well, such as 10 millivolts. This is the output of the frequency generator, monitored by the oscilloscope. I don't have a proper connector for the RF output of the generator yet, so I have to use this uh, unshielded cable with alligator clips on its end. So that's probably why this waveform looks so messy. We can clean that up a little bit if we go into the averaging mode. As you can see, I can raise the frequency. That's 50 megahertz. The level does keep changing. I'm not sure if that is the fault of the generator or the fault of the scope or the fault of the cable or if that's just the way it's supposed to be I have this adjusted for 10 millivolts output so I don't know anyway we can raise the frequency even higher this is 60 megahertz now you might be able to read 60 megahertz that is the stock bandwidth of this scope. However, this has been hacked, so it will do a full 100 megahertz, like so. Level does start decreasing a little bit. As we surpass 100 megahertz, it's not instantly going to cut out. Basically, we are going to uh, reach the minus 3 dB cutoff point of the input filter of the scope. As we go up higher in frequency, the level displayed by the scope is going to decrease. This is 300 megahertz, which the scope is not at all able to display. It's really just showing a bunch of garbage.